Hi students, welcome to the e-learning program. Uh, today is the first day of uh, social science. Under this uh, subject, we are going to start a history. Uh, before starting the chapter, I would like to tell you something about changed subject structure of uh, history. So far, uh, we have been studying uh, history as a subject which gives us uh, knowledge about the politics, wars, battles, etc. Means uh, even you to uh, know that under history subject. We just were studying uh, the political events, what is politics, battles, war fought between uh, the nations and the uh, empires. But now, couple of uh, years back, this uh, the structure of subject has been changed by our government our education department now if you see this subject history it gives you knowledge of uh, ancient period at the same time it can make your career so we can uh, see this subject as career making subject now you would uh, ask or you might be thinking how uh, history can uh, make career so i would like to give an uh, example example of the very famous painting uh, the mona lisa so uh, as we know our life has uh, many fields the society has many fields likewise sports arts architecture many fields we have so studying these fields we can make a career means studying hist uh, studying history of arts studying uh, uh, history of science studying uh, history of arts we can make a career means how suppose now you people uh, are fond of drawing so you can study the history of drawing you can get the detailed information about drawing painting and using or knowing those skills you can make your drawing or your painting very effective and after your drawing or painting is uh, made completed then you can sell it in the market means now through the studying history you completed uh, your uh, your habit or your hobby you you completed you studied historical knowledge of drawing you obtained and at the same time studying these skills you earn something for your livelihood so this happens in every field of a life you want sports to regarding sports you can get the knowledge historical knowledge you can know uh, the skills of the sports from the history and you can utilize them in your own life and you can make your career in sports to so the nature of the history nowadays is changed so in the beginning i told you this is the subject which can make a career and under this subject now some nine lesson we are going to nine chapters we are going to study most of them will give you career making ideas so today first of all we will start seventh chapter directly why seventh chapter because if you see the textbook first two topics are regarding historiography so for this 
means according to me uh, these two topics are a bit difficult bit challenging so when school will uh, begin we will uh, study we will discuss these two topics and the topics which are familiar to us which are easy to understand we will discuss in this e learning program okay in short i would like to tell about you what is historiography if you if you have started reading a textbook then you might be thinking what is historiography historiography is a method of writing history means if you want to write history then you need to know the actual things the original or the correct knowledge you must know then you can write the history means authenticity what we call uh, truth we must know time to time we must know it incorrect things or uh, what we feel are ideas we can't include in the history whatever uh, events had taken place in the past as it is we need to describe and this technique of writing history is called historiography again we will discuss uh, when the school begins okay so now let's start uh, the first chapter means today which we are going to start that is uh, chapter number 7 sports and history so under this chapter we will uh, study these uh, some points importance of sports types of sports globalization of sports game materials and toys toys and history literature and movies on uh, sport sports and professional opportunities etc okay so sports combine entertainment and physical exercise sports is a good combination of entertainment and uh, physical exercise too we are entertained with the help of sports also at the same time we have been given the physical exercise to our body so to play is a natural human instinct is playing is a natural uh, human instinct it is natural uh, gift it is to play hence the history of sports begins with the origin of mankind means when man a man born at the same time the sports to born means sports begins from the life of human being various games have been played since the beginning of civilization hunting was indeed a way of uh, obtaining food for the ancient people but it was also looked upon as a game and entertainment so hunting it was the need of uh, man in the ancient for his uh, food he was hunting but this hunting uh, also it is looked uh, as uh, game and entertainment uh, the movie i remember uh, khuda gawa is the movie there uh, such type of sport the uh, hunting sport is shown i think it is called bhuskashi okay so uh, i think i have told it before uh, means i think last year i have uh, i have told you about this game if you remember there's a matter so hunting was the uh, the first sport the man began the ancient india uh, indian literature and epics mention various games such as the uh, games of dais dude uh, nowadays uh, due to corona we are playing such types of uh, indoor games uh, ludo like that uh, wrestling is also there horse riding uh, chariot races and chase such games uh, we get the reference of uh, these games in indian literature or the epics mahabharata like no we know the very famous game of uh, dais in the mahabharata so such games started from the beginning of the uh, human life then do you know one more uh, uh, the informative uh, the box no there 
about uh, do you know sports and uh, greeks is a very ancient equation the greeks were the first to standardize rules of sports and uh, organize them systematically means greeks people were the first in the world who gave a very standard form to the sports making some rules and uh, organizing very systematically they started school so means a very good and ideal form the greek people gave they started sports competitions of uh, discus throw horse chariot races wrestling and boxing etc means in the initial period they started uh, such type of sports the ancient event of the olympic competitions used to be held at olympic sorry olympia the ancient greek city all the games were used to be held at the olympia city in the greek to be able to participate in olympics and to be uh, to be a winner is supposed to be a, a great honor for sports persons means why olympic uh, it is said because these games were organized in a greek city that was olympia and on its name this tournament is given the name of olympic okay this was regarding sports more details you can uh, get on internet so next uh, point what we are going to start that is uh, importance of sports we all know the importance of sports to play games is a very important for us it enables us to overcome suffering and worries means after playing games we can uh, feel fresh and energetic games help us to relax and refresh our minds as i told you we become very fresh we feel very fresh after playing games games which involve a lot of physical activities provide good exercise as well playing games provide us a good exercise games help in building our tenacious tenacious means perseverance you no know, uh taking follow up of something means consistency again we can call it and a strong body means perseverance and strong body these are all again some uh, uh, things we can achieve through the sports or playing games playing games also helps us in developing courage determination and sportsmanship games needing collective participation helps us to develop a sense of cooperation and team spirit means every year we play or we enjoy uh, annual sports during all uh, all these things we can observe we can notice we can see team spirit is there again it is uh, it is told it is also helps in developing leadership so leadership is also one of the the good thing good uh, objective we can achieve through the sports now after uh, gathering to in sports to we can see many leaders they lead their team next point comes that is uh, types of sports we all know sports are of two types indoor games and outdoor games firstly we will discuss indoor games indoor games are played within a closed environment and a number of them are played by sitting at one place means in a closed environment in a closed uh, room we can say we play uh, indoor games and number of players they are sitting at one place and they play together what are the indoor games chess card games games played with uh, gamesmen and uh, dice carrom etc are the indoor games the game known by various names as catch uh, kaudya nowadays uh, many people are playing such games catch kaudya or chauk bara or as indian ludo we can say it is a very popular among the indians now uh, we are experiencing such games yeah, due to uh, 
uh, the corona's uh, uh, threat we all are bound at the home and we are enjoying such type of indoor games now the game known as sagar gote played with a bunch of uh, seeds or stones is usually played by girls this is the uh, game played by girls sagar gote uh, the stones are used and uh, throwing in uh, air again catching throwing that is uh, the sagar gote there is another game known as bhatukali bhatukali i think uh, uh, a typical word is used for bhatukali is jevna uh, panyan uh, we used to call it bhatukali what is this game playing house which is usually played by girls means girls specially they used to play this game however all the members in the family can also participate in it especially in the mock wedding of girl doll and uh, boy doll means uh, marriage ceremony or the wedding is uh, organized or arranged in this uh, game bhatukali and uh, it is an occasion of uh, family celebration so uh, the food is prepared and uh, the very interesting uh, game Uh, even uh, we to have uh, played when uh, in our childhood so these were some indoor games the famous indian indoor games now outdoor games we will uh, discuss the outdoor games uh, can be categorized into two types again indian uh, sports and uh, international sports as you looking in the the pictures indian sports and international sports indian games include langdi kabaddi atta patta kho kho these are indian outdoor games uh, indian games like marbles uh, lagori vitti dandu or uh, gilli danda bhingri that is holes we call then uh, bhore or uh, tops phugdi jhimma are quite uh, popular Uh, games outdoor games uh, indian outdoor games we can call it uh, many of the games we to uh, play uh, on school ground so we all uh, the people we know it the international games include badminton alternatively it is spelled means the spelling uh, in a two way this word can be written badminton now you can check the spelling there again another uh, international games are table tennis hockey cricket football golf polo etc among the outdoor sports running races are popular all over the world we know in the olympic uh, how much importance is given to the running events Sprints or short distance running races are usually arranged for 100 and 200 meters means short distance races means sprints uh, the very famous uh, name in this event uh, we all know recently uh, that um, sportsman <coughs> uh, we saw Usain Bolt there are also middle distance and long distance races A marathon is a long distance running race other types of running races are hurdles and relay etc then uh, short put discus throw long jump high jump water sports like uh, swimming competitions water polo water polo means uh, throw ball in the water rowing means uh, running boat in the kerala it is uh, very famous such sports combine physical exercise and acrobatics like mallakhamb rope mallakhamb gymnastics etc are all included in the outdoor sports based on physical skills some adventure uh, games are also there we will uh, study in the the next period